Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's video, I'll try and help you decide which of the two brand new DJI Avada kits might be perfect for you. Because the minute this product was released, we got a ton of questions from viewers asking me, Rick, it looks like DJI's releasing two versions of the Avada. They've got the Fly Smarter kit, and they've also got a ProView kit. What's the difference between them, and which one should I buy? Well, the honest truth is, I've flown with both sets of goggles with the Avada, and I like them both for different reasons. And I know it sounds like I'm kind of splitting hairs there, but there are advantages to this particular kit and there are advantages to this kit. So it really depends on how you're going to fly. The big difference is there's a $220 difference between the kits. So that's important as well. And there's some subtle differences as well. The basic difference between the two kits is the goggles. The Avada is the same. The motion controller is the same. The goggles is the difference between them. Now, the goggles are different in a lot of ways technically, and I've got a whole clip coming where I compare these goggles side by side, but really what it comes down to is do you want the newer goggles, which are lighter, higher resolution, or do you want the standard goggles, which was the last version of FPV goggles, which is a little bit bigger, and it doesn't have quite the resolution. It's 810 versus 1080p, so crisper over here, a little less crisp over here. But when I'm talking about these goggles, there's a lot of advantages there. For starters, they're bigger. So a lot of people think, well, bigger goggles are heavier in your head, but if you wear glasses, you can keep your glasses on and use these goggles. Over here, you can't fit your glasses inside those goggles. They're smaller. They're only 210 grams, I think, on your head. So they're really, really light and they're small. So you put them on, they're just really tiny. But again, the advantage here is you have IPD adjustments on both these where you can slide the lenses out to accommodate for the distance of your eyes. But this one has a diopter adjustment as well. Now, if you don't know what that is, if you're wearing any kind of corrective lenses, I wear reading glasses like this when I'm reading. So I've got to have glasses that correct for my vision. Well. The lenses inside here allow you to dial them up to adjust for your reading glasses. So when you put those on, the first thing you'll do is adjust the IPD, just like you do on the old goggles, but then you can twist the knobs and actually adjust each eye individually. So you close this eye, adjust this one, close this eye, adjust that one, and you can dial in a crisp, perfect image. In addition to that, if you've got really bad eyes, which I'm heading towards, and that isn't enough of an adjustment, they also include two lenses that you can send out to your optrician and they can actually cut lenses to pop on front of those lenses inside the goggle set. So they basically eliminate the need to wear glasses at all. So for me, that's well worth the extra $220. Plus I love the high resolution, but if you're flying on a budget or you just want to use your reading glasses or whatever glasses you're wearing, don't want to go through the hassle of getting special lenses made up, this may be a good option for you. So that's the fundamental difference between the two kits. Now there are other subtle differences, which I only uncovered after we tested this for a couple of weeks, because we've had this unit for a little over a month now. And I'm telling you, I've flown this thing like crazy. The whole team here has been flying it ever since the release. And we've spent a lot of time analyzing the product. A couple of subtle things that are different between them. The batteries are different. You may not notice that. So that's kind of interesting that they've gone from a LiPo battery over here, which is a seven to nine volt battery, to a lithium ion battery over here. Small difference, but this is a nine volt battery. So this packs a little bit more punch than this one does. Both of these batteries work on either set of goggles. The difference is the batteries, the older battery from this particular goggle set works on the new goggles, but you don't see the battery indicator inside the goggle set. When you plug in the new battery, you'll know exactly how much time you have left on the goggles. There's a little counter on the bottom for battery level. When you plug in the old battery, you don't get that battery level on there. So that's something I'll probably fix, or not me, they'll probably fix in firmware down the road, but just know that if you plug in the old batteries, it's not gonna work. Another subtle difference between them, on the old goggles, you got this straight through cable, which worked okay, but it's just a straight through cable. With the new one, you get this really nice springy cable, which I like an awful lot because it gives me a little elasticity. The other difference is on the USB-C end on the newer goggles, there's a clip on the outside that actually holds it when you put it in there. Hear that click? It holds onto the battery. So if you drop the battery, it's not gonna pop out or it's not gonna work loose and you'll lose connection on your goggles. So I like that a lot. The challenge is when you plug in the old battery, it stretches it a little bit further than I'd like it there on the outside. So I'm worried over time that may fatigue, but anyway, it works just great. So just know that whichever goggles you use, they'll connect up to the uh, brand new Avada with no issues whatsoever. The only thing to keep in mind again is you're gonna have batteries that are different. So lithium polymer versus lithium ion shouldn't matter to you because they're both nine volts eventually, <laughs> seven volts to nine volts, but they're gonna work fine in the goggles. The cables are different. If you're worried about that uh, overextension of that clip, uh, these are available as an accessory. They're a couple of bucks. You can find them on the DJI website. That'll work on both batteries with both goggles and you'll be just fine. So anyway, that's pretty much it for today. So what it boils down to at the end of all this, and I've made this way too long to explain it, is the difference between the two kits, the uh, FlySmart kit versus the ProView kit, 
is essentially the goggles. That's it. $220 upgrade for this one. And in my opinion, I like these a lot. I fly with these two. They work just great. I can put my glasses on, but you spend a lot of money on the kit. You might as well go for the newer goggles. And I think it's great that DJI gives you a choice because they could have very well said, look, the new Avada only comes with these goggles. And by the way, the old motion controller, the old remote controller don't work with it. You got to buy the new one. They didn't do that. They released the Avada as a standalone drone. So if you're flying the original FPV from DJI, you can buy just the drone and use the gear you got. Or you can buy the new drone with the motion controller and the new goggles if you choose to do that. But they didn't even stop there. They said, you know what? We got some of these older goggles around. Why don't we put a kit together that's less expensive to let people get into the hobby flying with the old goggles? And they work just great. They give you a beautiful image. So you have a lot of choices here that you can use. But the bottom line is the difference between the kits really comes down to the goggles and really your budget, I guess, is the other thing to consider. So if you got the extra cash, splash for this one. If you don't, go with this one. It's going to work just fine for you. And hopefully that was helpful. I hope I didn't confuse the issue more than it was before, but that's essentially the difference between the kits. So thanks a lot for watching. I promise you I've got a ton more clips coming. We're reviewing a lot of the technology behind what makes this thing amazing. I've also got some clips showing you what parts are replaceable, how to replace them. So a lot of really good information about the uh, new Avada product from DJI. So thanks again for watching. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button down there and join the Drone Valley family. I promise I don't drink this much coffee on every clip, but I have a lot of fun talking about technology and hopefully you're enjoying these clips. So thanks again for watching. And until next time, as always, <laughs> happy flying.